Os, konnichiwa minasan, and welcome to Oshita Karate, and Merry Christmas. Now, since Christmas is the season for giving and receiving, I wanted to take that concept and apply it to karate. Giving and receiving, and then receiving and giving. Well, we can also say pushing and pulling, and pulling and pushing. Uh, when something is being pushed toward you, what do you think would happen if you push back? If something is pulling you, what do you think would happen if you pulled back? Well, let's find out. If I get my partner in here, Mr. Duane, we're going to show uh, this uh, idea, this concept, and understand, class, that this can be applied, obviously, physically, but also mentally in both re relationships and work, uh, pretty much anywhere in your life. And believe me, I am always, always working on this idea of giving, receiving, pushing, and pulling. So what do we mean? Well, if my partner pushes and I push back, we get nowhere. In fact, I'm starting to lose. If my opponent pulls, and I pull back, I'm getting nowhere. And yes, Mr. Duane is strong, I'm starting to lose. So, how can we maintain balance during this time? Well, when your opponent is giving or pushing, tis the season to give and receive. So what I did was, when he pushed, I pulled. And by pulling, when he's pushing, I stay balanced and he is unbalanced. And of course, when he's pulling, I want to push so that I stay balanced and the opponent is unbalanced. Giving and receiving, pushing and pulling. So if we'll show that again, push, pull. Pull, push. But how can we apply this to some karate? All right. I'm going to do this a few times, and I'm going to ask Mr. Duane to show us. So we're going to just do a little drill. We move around. And then I'm going to feel Mr. Duane in a moment give, and I'm going to receive, and then give back. Let's show that again from this side. He's going to give, and then I receive and give back. Mr. Dwayne, would you like to try that on me? Yes, sir. All right. Here it comes. Merry Christmas. Whack. Exactly. Would you like to show us that the potential behind that strike? Uh-huh. And one more. It's on the inside of that arm that he's striking with. So, giving and receiving. To push is to pull. To pull is to push. Now, sometimes though, Mr. Dwayne, mm -hmm. we, life is just, life doesn't present things as simple as that. Sometimes, when we get pushed, we want to pull, but maybe um, it's not allowed in that situation. We got to push back. So if you have to push back, you push hard. I need to push back, but I'm going to push back in different points. <laughs> so if you did have to push back, don't push in the same place. Pick different areas of weakness <laughs> to overpower your obstacle may not be physical. It could be a mental situation. So to tie this whole video together, tis the season of giving and receiving to push and to pull. The opponent gives, we receive. The opponent takes and we give. I thank you so much, sir, for that and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you all so much. If you would like 
to get yourself or a loved one a unique Christmas gift that's not on the shelf and it's the gift that just keeps on giving, please check out my Udemy courses, my karate courses. You go to udemy.com and in their search bar, type Ishinru Karate, or you can type my name, John Osta, or you can type the course title, Dissect the Dissection of Ishinru Karate, and you'll find my courses there. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see y'all in the next video. Domo, arigato gozaimashita.